Hello and welcome to a short tutorial video. Today we are going to be looking at Unit 10 of the Level 9 um, Royal Conservatory Harmony course, um, and specifically speaking about something called the two supertonic 7 chord, or also known as 2-7. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, share my screen to give some clarity here. Of course, the 2-7 chord looks like a lowercase 2 with a little 7. Lowercase 2 meaning a minor chord in a major key. And also it can be uh, known as a half diminished chord in um, a minor key. You might be wondering what a half diminished chord is, so let me show you. What I'm going to do is actually change uh, cameras so that you can see um, the piano here. And I'll move a couple of things so that you can see the, c the clear piano in, let's say, the key of C minor. We have three flats, B flat, E flat, A flat. So this, the chord that's the, se the um, supertonic 7 chord in the key of C minor would be D, F, A flat, C. So if you hear that sound, and you can see that we have um, a different uh, kind of sound here, it's because we have a diminished triad, D, F, A flat, as well as a minor 7th. In, in a major key, the 2 chord in C major would be D, F, A, C, which is a minor seven chord, minor triad, minor seventh as well. So basically, um, we have two different co uh, chords here um, that have a quite a different sound. The diminished ha half diminished seventh chord in a minor key or the minor seven in a major key. Now, the, the function of the chord does not change in that um, a, a supertonic 7 chord can still be used very commonly, actually, as a pre-cadential chord, which means we can actually use the chord as um, 2, 5, 7, 1. So just like we would normally do, we could go 2, 6, then 5, and then 1, or 2, then 5, then 1. Now we can use 2, 7 going to 5, 7, going to 1. So basically we add an extra note to the 2 chord to create a really nice sound. And actually the 2, 5, 1 progression in jazz music also follows this same principle too. Now something that's interesting is that the 2, 7 chord is most popular in first inversion, which is also known as 2, 6, 5. This is where the third of the chord is the lowest note. The 2 7 chord in a minor key, of course, is uh, most common in first inversion because um, the dissonant sound is somewhat taken, uh, taken away be, or dispelled a little bit <laughs> because even though the notes are still sp uh, spelled the same way, there's no use of a, d of a diminished fifth in the voicing of a, s a first inversion to seven chord. This chord um, also uses this, the same um, functional chord symbols and functional chord symbol spelling as a dominant seventh chord, where you can have three different inversions. You can have six five, which is the first inversion, four three, which is the second inversion, and four two, which is the third inversion. Something else that's very interesting is that when you're writing this chord using inversions, it's important to use the complete chord where we have root, third, fifth, and seventh included. So in this case, if you wanted to write, let's say, the two, four, three, which would be the second inversion to seven chord, you would want to make sure you have a root, third, a fifth, and a seventh, but of course the fifth is the lowest note with it being a second inversion chord. It is possible to write the 2-7 chord as an incomplete chord where you can double the root or the third. But of course, it's very important not to forget the third or the seventh because those are the qualitative notes or the notes that make the chord very special. Um, the interesting thing with um, writing inversions is that it really creates a nice rich sound um, but at the same time, there's also options for very smooth voice leading as well. Um, so basically, when using the 2 7 chord in root position, you can have a variety of different combinations. You can have root, third, fifth, seventh, 
or in the key of C major, it would be D, F, A, C. You could also have root root third seventh, which would be D, D, F, C. And you could also have root third third seventh, which would be D, F, F, C. Root third fifth seventh. Root root third seventh. Root third third seventh. Each of these all sound really nice. Now something that's interesting as well is that you want to make sure to, um, as best as you can, to resolve the chord notes by step. And also to follow um, the other important voice leading um, rules and suggestions, such as smooth voice leading, no parallel intervals, making sure to watch for augmented intervals or any kind of funny uh, leaps and, and, and gaps in your, in your uh, especially in your inner voices, and to make sure that the chord is spelled correctly, especially with the third and the seventh included, and also to make sure that the doubling of the specific notes is outlined clearly when you use um, the root position chord. So I do hope that um, this information was helpful. It was a pleasure to be here to help you and to, to provide another bit of information. I look forward to seeing you next time for another tutorial. And until then, thank you so much and take care.